like to invite you to join me on exploration of my journey and how I understand it from the source to the return and how we connect with the light. Before the beginning, there was nothing the eight swap for the endless light, the infinite one, the pen against the world. Close your eyes for a second. Imagine nothing. And then, to make space for the creation, God had to withdraw the light from everywhere first. Because it seems to be contraction. From that space. Said, by he or let there be light. There was light. A few steps followed. To contain the light, God created a vessel. But no one vessel could contain all of this light of God. It cracked, overflowed. It's just too powerful. And so, there were more vessels created to contain all the light. And all of these vessels of the emanation, of the process of creation, we call them Sephirot, and collectively, they represent all of the wonder of creation. We represent them in a sacred diagram, the tree of life, which express the divine attributes. And the light slows down until it reaches us right at the bottom. And this tree is the central aspect of our rich Kabbalistic tradition. Now, Kabbalah also says that God created the universe to behold herself so that she would be reflected back to herself. A beautiful image. And we all feel somewhat that we are a part of God, that God is a part of us. We have a yearning, we have a spark inside of us. And that's part of our soul that draws us up with it, yearns, makes us yearn to reconnect, to return to that light. And we have free choice if we wish to go on that path. And we've also got guidelines for Torah on how to follow that. And that path will return we call Tikkunala, the reparation, the healing of those cracked vessels. And Mishnah says there are three ways, three pillars of the world, Torah, Tadakah, and Tefillah. And each one of these contribute to our own fullness and how we advance the process of Tikkun. And we use these to approach the divine with our full being. We use our mind with study of the Torah. We use our body with the acts of tzedakah, of charity that we perform, and our heart and our soul when we pray. All three of those are required for us to be whole, to contribute. And looking at each in, in part by study, by Torah, by looking at Torah, Talmud, Mishnah, Kabbalah, this helps us know what path to walk and how to walk on that path. But knowledge, head knowledge itself, is not the experience. We need to perform acts, random acts of kindness, and not such random acts. Our great sage Maimonides taught us at the eight levels of charity. We can think about this as being karma. What we sow, we do. And to fill out the prayer, which gives us the direct personal experience, the inner feeling of connection with the divine. When we sing sacred sounds with presence, with mindfulness, we transcend the personal and we can resonate with the divine. And our chesed service, which means love and kindness, this is the highest part of the tree that we can attain in this life body. And we started chesed to help us open our hearts in prayer, to create that heart space, that beautiful opening and resonance with the divine. Now, from a community perspective, when we study together, we can debate, we can argue. The learning experience is more powerful. 
We do charity together, many hands make light work. And when we pray together and we can resonate, maybe that's why we need a minimum in the first place. We need a minimum power. We need that group energy. So this is your invitation to connect, to expand your mind and your study, to give your time to Tzedakah, to community, and to open your heart in prayer, in meditation.